the implementation of accessible ICT policies and strategies is key in ensuring that persons with disabilities have access to ICT products and services that are naturally accessible, that are uh, compatible, that, uh, that can be used by them. So uh, another very important thing to say in relation to this is that what do the countries uh, do in ensuring that? Um, inevitably, it is very important to have the engagement by all relevant stakeholders. And we talk about the governments, we talk about regulatory authorities, industry, academia, and uh, civil society. Primarily, it is up to the governments to uh, implement, to create all the necessary mechanism uh, in order to provide the opportunities for persons with disabilities to have um, and to live independent lives. And that also includes um, education, that includes um, e-health, uh, access to public services, that includes the, the work market, etc. Uh, the objectives for question 7 for the study period 2018-2021 have been identified very clearly by the members as well as agreed. So uh, what the members emphasised as um, key objectives is uh, basically the continuation of the capacity building that provides provided by the uh, ITUD. Capacity building is crucial for the members to, um, to get the necessary knowledge on how to not only create the ICT policies and strategies, but how to adapt, how to adjust the existing ICT policies and strategies that are, um, uh, that, that are implemented in some other countries or that are provided by the ITUD into their national policies and strategies. Another objective that the members emphasized was the need to raise awareness and promote ICT um, not only policies and strategies but also the relevant business models and uh, when we talk about raising awareness and then promotion uh, it is also um, important to bear in mind that simultaneously it is crucial to strengthen persons with disabilities uh, in order to know what is available to them and how to use those services and products that are available to them. Uh, then uh, we should also mention the, one of the key objectives, as one of the key objectives is the, is the constant in, um, empowerment of the members to exchange uh, their good practices, to share the knowledge through the regional platforms, through the national platforms in, uh, um, in organizing all sorts of events, uh, and uh, to, to, serve, to have that served as a base for creation of their own uh, national policies and strategies to uh, make sure that the implementation of ICT policies and strategies is going to be uh, implemented at the, um, in the best possible way. Um, as a key outcome, I foresee the increased level of implementation um, of ICT policies and strategies, as well as the increased level of usability of ICT um, services and products. Uh, the countries can benefit from the increased level of implementation hugely. Uh, the problem in most of the developing countries is the extreme low level of the um, accessible ICT services and products, in spite of the fact that the legal and, uh, let's say, regula regulatory framework are well in place. But it is evident that the level of implementation currently is very low. So we should all aim at the uh, achieving this key expected outcome, uh, which means that uh, the, the persons of disabilities will benefit mostly. Once we have it all implemented, then the persons with disabilities will have access to um, TV and video programs that, are, that uh, they can follow. Uh, we will have the increased level of mobile communications, the increased level when it comes to accessible websites. And it's, it's only in that way that we could ensure uh, the inclusion of persons with disabilities in the overall economic and social ecosystem.